Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to attempt to talk about why I've sort of converted to being a daily logger versus a weekly planner. And uh, this kind of started in 2019 when I started using a pocket ring planner and I kind of discovered the power of a daily insert. <laughs> And for years before that, I was kind of a vertical week on two page type of person. I would write all the tasks when I wanted to accomplish them under each specific day. And I just saw everything all at once within my weeklies. And there are a few things that I kind of recognized uh, after moving to using like a daily planner insert when it came to a week on two page spread. When I look at the beginning of a week, and if I have more than just the bare minimum, which is kind of what I've moved to, this is a lot more minimal than I have in the past, but if I put in every single task ahead of time on the Sunday before my Monday start starts, I am really overwhelmed. Uh, looking at everything that I need to accomplish on a weekly basis is, it's just a lot of information. And I'm the kind of person that thinks two, three, four days ahead. I have anxiety and my planner can help me manage that a little bit. Um, but looking at this, it seems like, okay, this is the elephant and we break down the elephant one bite at a time. I don't like that phrase, <laughs> but here we go. Um, so basically what I've learned over the years is that the daily log helps me in two different ways. One, it helps me kind of zero in on what I need to accomplish that day. It also gives me space to memory keep that day and really focus in on one day at a time. It feels a lot more organic to me. And basically what that means is that these are the things that I need to do. If something comes up in the middle of the day, I can write it down. Um, if I have a memory that happened at lunch, I can write it down. And I pretty much will live within this space for that entire time until the end of the night when I'm ready to review and start thinking about what I need to do tomorrow. When I fill out tomorrow's to-do list, I pretty much will start with my date brain dump out anything I want to accomplish tomorrow, flip back to my weekly and see what's on my schedule for tomorrow. I will transfer those events over. If I have any day specific tasks in this section, so these are things I want to accomplish on that Sunday, then I would move those and write them down if I haven't already. And then finally, what I'll do is I will look at my weekly running list. So these are the things that I would like to accomplish. And I would say, okay, I haven't done this yet. And it's the end of the week. So I want to put that on my to-do list. Uh, maybe I know I'm not going to get to this. So I will migrate it to the following week. Then if I'm within my daily log, um, if you are familiar with the traditional bullet journal method by writer Carol, he will say that if you think of something you need to do tomorrow, next week, next month, write it down in your daily log. And then at the end of the day, uh, put it where it needs to go. So either schedule it and migrate it back and put it on your future log, put it on your monthly log, etc. Sometimes I will do that. But for the most part, if I'm like, oh, I need to do that tomorrow, I will just flip back because it's bookmarked and put it in tomorrow, tomorrow's day specific task list if I need to do it next week or two weeks from now, if it is within the month, I will put it on my running list for the week. And if it is something that I need to do in a future month, then I will flip up to my future log and put them there. Um, or if it's something that I know I want to do this month, but I don't care which week it is, I will add it to my monthly page. And sometimes I don't have time to do that. So I just write it down so I don't lose it. And then I move it where it needs to go accordingly. Um, I typically will set up my daily log in the evening and so I'll get through the end of the day, write down any other highlights that I have. And usually before bed, I will prep what I want to do the next day. It just helps me in the morning to make less decisions. It helps me with my decision fatigue and I'm just kind of, uh, populating my to-do list based off of the things I've already decided throughout the day and the week, um, by referencing, I call it my weekly dashboard versus my weekly spread anymore because I don't spend a lot of time here. This is really just like an at a glance type of view. And then I'm good to go for the next day. And that has been probably the biggest planner game changer over the last couple of years that I've discovered because it helps me just really look at, okay, this is what I need to do today. 
and not really think about, okay, I've got all this stuff I need to do tomorrow, but unless I'm going to try and tackle part of that today, I don't really need to see it until I get there. So I find that I'm less overwhelmed. I enjoy adding in highlights as they happen throughout the day, and it becomes a little bit more of a better hybrid between a memory keeper, a log, and my to-do list notes and things that I kind of need to, to accomplish things throughout the day or, you know, survive just depending on, you know, where we're at. When it comes to migrating my tasks, something I've sort of ebbed and flowed with over time, I will kind of migrate on a page by page basis. So I'm currently splitting my page into two columns and just sort of listing my daily logs that way. Looking here, I've got a couple open tasks left over, like I haven't transferred my vacation pay uh, and I haven't done my journal with me description. Um, so I will leave those as open tasks and kind of look at my page as a whole. And then when I'm ready to flip the page, that is when I will evaluate what is open and say, okay, I actually, we made it work this month. I don't need to transfer that money. Maybe I'll cross it off. Um, yep, I did my journal with me description. I just forgot to check it off. So I will check that off or I'll say, okay, I can't get groceries this weekend. It's going to have to be Monday and I will migrate that back and then make sure I put it on uh, next week's Monday date specific task, go get groceries. So hopefully that makes sense for you. This is again, um, a bullet journal edition to collab with Lightterm 1917. I believe I still have a discount code through their USA site. I will list that down below. It's Lindsay 10 for 10% off. If you're looking to pick out this particular notebook, I've been doing all my writing with my pilot vanishing point lately. This is in the extra fine and it is inked with Dia Tremendous Archive ink. I switched between this and a Pentel Energel. Uh, with a 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and even a 0 0.3 now. <laughs> um, all the stickers on this page, these two are from the Coffee Monsters Co. And this is from Happy Dea. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know down below. But if you've made it this long, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.